Let's look at the top mistakes, the top three mistakes that people make when they're trying to story tell to sell so that we can get around some of this stuff, okay? So the first thing, kind of the cardinal sin, the biggest mistake that people make when they're storytelling to sell is when they tell the story, they make the story about them. Organizations too. And I can understand why this happens because generally, you know, you want to talk about um, something in your particular past or your organization's past and you sort of want to be the main character or the focal point. And that's fine. But what you also have to realize is that the audience needs to feel like they're getting something from it. So if there's a character in it, the audience needs to relate to that character. They want to feel like they're on that journey because otherwise, what's the purpose of the story? Just listening to how great you are or something that you've overcome. So you have to really think about that when you're creating your story. What is the audience actually getting out of that? And along with this comes number two. And the number two mistake that people make is there's no clear message or insight in their story. Um, have you ever heard somebody tell a story, whether it's on a party or a business event or whatever, and you listen to this thing for five or 10 minutes wondering why they're telling it, and by the time they get to the end, you still have no idea why they're telling it. There's, you know, it's like, well, what, what's the point to that? What am I supposed to get from it? Am I supposed to learn something from it? And you know how frustrating that feels. So you don't want your audience to feel frustrated. So make sure that when you're storytelling to sell that you've got a clear message that people understand ultimately what your story is about, that there's some sort of learning in there. And you'll notice I've also added the word insight. And I've realized that this is important too, because especially for people who are motivational speakers or coaches in that sort of entrepreneur space, there tends to be a lack of insight in the messaging, right? So somebody will tell a story about something they overcome and then they get to what the message is and the message is be yourself or believe in yourself or something like that that's really obvious. And people get disappointed when the messages aren't insightful because it's like, well, if I knew how to be myself, then I would do it. You know, it's, it's, it, it doesn't, really, doesn't really tell anybody anything that they don't already know. So, so let's look at the third mistake. And this is a bit of a catch-all, but I realize that a lot of people just simply don't understand how to use stories to sell themselves. And when I say sell, yeah, it can be a product, it can be a service, but it can even be an idea. So again, if you're a keynote speaker, a motivational speaker, even if you're not selling a program, you are selling an idea. So you really need to be aware of how to do this through story. So here's what I see. I see people who sometimes do a pretty good job in making connection with the audience. And they think that, oh, great, I've done that. The story has fulfilled its potential. But not really. Because stories take time. And if you're taking the time to tell a story and you're taking the audience's time, you need to do more than one thing. So in addition to building that connection with the audience, you know, often you'll want to build some credibility within that story and do it in a way that looks like you're not bragging. And stories are great for doing that if you know how to do it. Um, you wanna be able to illustrate a key point. Again, you need a message, you need an insight also in that story. And most importantly for you, if you're selling something, again, even if it's an idea, is there are usually some key objections to people buying what you have to sell, basically. Even if it's an idea. If it's a controversial idea, people will be going, yeah, but. If it's a service or a product, people may want to buy it, but they'll be going, yeah, but. Stories are a great way to deal with the yeah, buts. And I very rarely see people do this. So most speakers, most entrepreneurs are missing out on the number one key thing that stories can help them do to sell, and that is overcome objections. So there you go. Those are the three most common mistakes I see when people are storytelling to sell. Now, if this seems complicated, it is and it isn't, right? It's more complicated than a lot of other business coaches will give it credit for, and a lot of people don't have the same sort of background that I do 30 years basically in the media and as a storyteller. So I know stories back and forth and how to use them really strategically. So I wanna help you do the same. 
I am putting on my Storytell to Sell virtual masterclass once again. The new dates are November 4th, 9th, and 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And this is obviously a three evening course. Um, the Zoom sessions are 90 minutes long. And I'm going to show you not only all of the different aspects of speaking and storytelling to sell, but also how to create those different types of stories, how to do virtual presentations. You know, if you like some of the stuff that I've been doing here, I'm going to sort of teach you, you know, my tips and tricks on that as well. Plus, you are going to create your own story. Whatever it is, it might end up being a story that you hadn't even thought of because after the first session, you go, oh, wow, my story should be about this instead of the other thing. So we're going to show you how to identify the most powerful story for you. And also you're going to do it and you're going to get feedback twice. So I really believe, you know, if you're going to get results, you need to learn something and you're going to need to do it and you're going to need to do it at least a couple of times to know and really be able to polish it up and make it work for you. So I would love to do that for you. And you need only go to storytelltosell.ca, the website, storytelltosell.ca. You'll find all the information there and also find a link to sign up. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to get a hold of me either through Facebook or via email. All my contact information is on the website. I would love to have you there. It's a small group. We typically sell out every single time, usually a group of five. So you're going to want to act now because I think we have three spots left uh, as of the beginning of this live. So would love to see you there. Any questions, please let me know.